Hello everyone, and uh, today I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the uh, H Doctor for his H drive, and the newest update is version five. And in this uh, PowerPoint, I'm going to go through the uh, functions and the new version uh, support and the functions we don't support currently. Okay, so let's start. So what's new in this new version? Okay, basically you support more drives. So you support ARM series drives and support 4210 and 5450 KT series and also support 2 terabyte drive scan and sector view. Okay, we've tested some models and uh, proven to be uh, supported. Currently the models we support are ARM series that includes drives like uh, 7275, 7232A7, 7250A7, 5432A7, ALA3, CLA3, DLE6, and BLA6. And for 7250A7 we've tested following models that was uh, proven to be very effective on these models. And also for model 7232A7 we tested these models. And for 7275 are these models we've tested. And also uh, 5432A7 as well. And also some uh, more models, like uh, models belong to CLA3, ALA3, and DLE6, and BLA6. So now, what functions can ARM series drive support? Basically what it means is uh, what uh, the programs can support about uh, ARM series drives. So now, first, we support automatic uh, automatic identification of a drive family. So if you uh, connect a new drive, a new ARM series drive, and power on and load from HDD, and the system, the program will automatically chose, choose the series. For now, we have a drive uh, 7275 connected. Uh, also, it supports uh, modules read and write, means uh, upload and download modules, and A zone and B zone modules read and write, and support also uh, read modules by UBA method. So, for the newer series, uh, ARM series, we don't have the C zone, so this is a big difference. So, uh, no SAC firmware in ARM series, so only support SAB and SAA modules reading and write. Also it supports uh, ARM series drive, NVRAM edit, read, write, and ROM read as well. It also supports uh, the ARM series drive password removal. And in the program we've set up a, a database that stores uh, the uh, password modules for ARM series. So if you have ARM series drive and it is locked, then you can use the data mo uh, database modules to unlock the password. And also a uh, smart reset as well for the ARM series drives. And also you can modify your drive information in the program. And beside you can do <coughs> scan your drives, like uh, self-scan, scan for best sectors. And you can zero fill your drive, that is to repair your drive, zero fill. And you can view sectors, which is to check if the sectors are accessible. And you can view the GDs and PDs as well. Okay, that so now we have some functions and ARM series currently are not supported. Now you cannot do first uh, self-scan and you cannot do head operations which means you cannot depop the head or you cannot like test the head 
in zone operations, you cannot cut zones or check zones or anything, and you cannot add p add add, add best actors to PDs or to JList, and you cannot repair the MVRAM either in a 2.5 inch drive or 3.5 inch drive, and you cannot update the ROM. Write ROM is not possible, and you cannot read the RAM. And also doesn't support the drive which is larger than two terabyte. And for the 4210 and the 5450 KT series, all program functions supported because 4210 and 5450 KT series, they are not ARM series, so now they are supported, and all the functions in the programs are available for these two series. And also we support 2 terabyte drive self-scan, no, sorry, not self-scan, drive scan means scan for bad sectors, 2 terabyte drive scan and the sector view. Okay, now so uh, we have a case here, and I'm I'm going to demonstrate and uh, take you step by step how to unlock the password for the Hitachi ARM series drives. Okay, so now let's start the case. Okay, now we have a drive which has a password. The model is seven two seven five, and so first step one we should first check if the drive has password. So we should uh, power on first, of course. And then you should manually choose the model and load from drive. It will tell you then the drive has password. Please load from file. And now, it, if you click here, you will see the information except for the LBI because it has a password. And if you see the sectors, you cannot see sectors. So now we're going to unlock the drive. So step one. We should uh, detach the PCB from the drive. Okay, power off and detach. Okay, now the PCB is detached and we connect the PCB back to the doctor. PCB alone. And now we power on. So, step two basically, we need to go to the NVRAM and change the flag in NVRAM. Then tell the drive to boot in safe mode. Then we can update and upload, update and download the modules. Okay, now it's ready, and we go to NVRAM operation and add the NVRAM. Okay, so now you can see the NVRAM content. So now we're going to find the flag. Okay, so some difference between the ARM series and the old Hitachi series flag in NVRAM. So uh, for old Hitachi series, the flag is something like something something there are one, and if you want to be, uh, if you want to let the drive boot in safe mode or in SAC, you should change it to something something zero zero. But for ARM series, uh, it's different. The key to find the flag is to find 0F. We find 0F, and you go back, you, you should see something like 0001, and you should also change 01 to 00 to switch the drive to safe mode, but not to SAC because ARM series don't have SAC. So now we go back to the, uh, the program, and we should find o OF, 0F. Which is in uh, it's quite obvious to find because zero F is not common uh, words in uh, MVRAM, and you should be able to find it. Uh, in here, so this is a mark. As you can see, this is mark. Then to tell the drive to boot from SAC, no, not boot from SAC, to boot in safe mode. So we should change 0 01 to 0 0. Okay, 0 0. 
and right. Okay. So now step two is compl uh, completed. So now we power off and go to step three. So step three is we should power off and yeah, first, and then fix the PCB back to the drive. Okay, now we have uh, fixed the PCB back to the drive, and now it's step three. And now we should uh, power on first, of course. As you can see, there's no SSC, so uh, the old way, the old method to to unlock the password is you should go to SSC first, back up the uh, ICES module from SSC, and update the ICES backup from SSC to SAA to clear password. But ARM series thinks it doesn't have SSC, so we should go directly to the uh, update firmware tab and update the the module using the the, uh, the the module we provided in a, in the database which is stored in your installation folder okay now it's ready yeah, everything shown no problem I go to update firmware and choose the firmware module the password module is uh, is, is here so it's now it's different name is SECI but as you know uh, there are three names can mean a uh, uh, password module in Hitachi drives it can be a PWSD or a, a SECI or ICES so now I'm going to update this module and select the directory using a database uh, arm here and choose SECI and choose the model choose your model in here and OK and update succeeded OK this step 3 finished uh, step 3 basically is update the password module using a database module to clear the password then after these the final step go to MRM editing and change the flag, flag back to the normal mode here so uh, we should change back to the original value one and write okay so this is complete operation of how sh we should uh, unlock the password for the ARM series so nothing's everything's fine and we should try again to see the data if the drive is unlocked and power off and on ready and load from drive everything's fine see the LBA everything and you can read the firmware now you can see no problem and you can even uh, read and save yeah and you can also see sectors now or any other random numbers so now it means the drive is successfully unlocked. Okay. Okay. So after this operation, something I need to remind you is first, uh, basically the operation flow is very much like the original, uh, not the original, the old Hitachi drives. But something is different is basically two things here on PPT. You can see uh, first the uh, flag, everyone flag is different. It used to be something something zero one. But now it's something like uh, more associated with 0F. So now you can see the PPT and change 01 to 00, the, the numbers before 0F. And also uh, see the words in red. In ARM series, uh, password modules are stored in program, no uh, program folder. This is because and ARM series doesn't have SAC. Then you, if you want to unlock the password, you have to use the uh, modules we provided that are stored in the program folders okay so thanks for uh, uh, watching this and see you next time